We're live in the studio. I'm Stan Marvin along with Steve DeLapp. Yes. How Hi, you Stan. doing? We're doing great. <laughs> and you saw a shot there briefly, and we're going to hear a lot more of them in just a second, of the California State Old Time Fiddlers Association, right? That's Steve? absolutely right. A brand new, so a brand new uh, district of the uh, California State Old Time Fiddlers. And, and uh, of course, we have just. Them here in Coming up, California? Uh, coming up in a second. <laughs> I, so I know excited. we're so excited. And it, it is, of course, a Fiddler's Holiday, what we're doing right now. And uh, yes. you're going to just want to stay close to your TV because you're going to hear some wonderful, wonderful fiddling music um, right in just a few seconds here. And we want to remind you, you're also going to be listening to them on the phone. If you call to become a member of KRCB, the number is going to be on your screen all night. So, Steve, take it away. Let's take it away with uh, Seneca Square Dance. Just a minute here to talk to uh, Mr. Michael Drayton. Michael is the president, the brand new president of the brand new District 10 of the California State Old Time Fiddles Association. Hi, Michael. And that's true. Hi. How yes, are you? I'm. I am great. Good to be Tell here. Tell us about how this got formed. How did this? How did this happen? Well, the California State Old Time Fiddlers Association has been around for longer than I know. Um, and there was a district that covered all the main part of the Bay Area and came up through Marin, Sonoma, and I think all the way up to the northern Mendocino County line. It's just too big. Nobody could get, nobody from the northern area could get to any kind of gathering. So um, Mark Hogan, who's kind of been a mover and shaker in folk music lately, um, had the idea that we should carve out a new district that might be a little more, bit more manageable. So it's. Uh, Sonoma, Lake, and Mendocino counties. Excellent. Now, I, I understand that one of the first things that the uh, district is going to do is put on the Cloverdale Fiddle Contest, and that's kind of, that's moved around a little bit. Yes, it's almost right. Uh, we are not, or, or we're not running that contest. That contest is really run by the, um, Part of the Historical, historical Society. Society in Cloverdale. Okay. But, um, but, but we are going to be helping out as much as we can. Yes, and uh, we have moved it. It used to be in January. Right, it used to be the... at this point it's in May. That's right, understand. May 4th yeah. and 5th. May 4th and 5th, yes. excellent. Good yeah. thing to know. So Keep uh, in mind, yeah. Yes, absolutely. So it's one of those things that uh, the Old Time Fiddle Association is uh, intimately involved with, even though the Historical Society up there is putting it on. That's and, right. I mean... Most or all of us have been there many times. I was at the very first one, and I believe Gus also was. Uh, I will say, from, speak for myself, that I won the very first one, uh -huh. and I've never been able to win it since. <laughs> good, good getting in there early. That's, That's right. Good job. That's right. Getting to the ground floor. Yeah. <laughs> really. So, what do you see in ahead for the association? Well, we're you know we're really just in our formati formative stages, but um, we want to. Uh, make the possibility for more get-togethers, more playing, more more jams, uh, more more activity, some concerts, and just make the music more available and more visible, and get people together more. Excellent. Well, yeah. thank you very much. We're gonna right, we'll you. talk a little bit more later, Good. and uh, let's get back to uh, let's talk to a couple of the fiddlers who are hanging around here. There's uh, well, let me see. Our the first one at at my uh, at my left here is uh, Jeanette Duncan. Jeanette Duncan has been fiddling for a long time. Your role in the Old Time Fiddle Association is? Well, I'm on the advisory committee. I don't get to vote on things, but I can tell them what I think. 
And I love it. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you. Gus Gorillick is uh, on that committee as well. Hi, I know, Gus. I have a lot of opinions, too, because I used to do a show here on KRCB called The Fiddling Zone, so people know how I feel about fiddling. I think, I think so. Right. Yeah, you're a, you are a totally dedicated fiddler, that's for so. sure. That's true. Now, now, Mr. Chris Carney over here is a vice president of the uh, Fiddle Association. I'm the new vice president. Yes. It's the best job because I don't really have to do anything except, uh, you know, if Mike can't make someplace, I have to go. But other than that, I don't have to do anything. Well, that's, that's, that sounds like well, a good deal. A good I, you know, I, I don't believe it, but it sounds like a good deal. <laughs> Don? Don Coffin is here with us, and uh, you're from Hi, Lake everybody. County, aren't you? I am. I've moved up to Lake County, and I'm on the advisory committee of the Old Time Fiddle Association uh, for Lake County. Yes, so you're you're another, you can be with these opinionated people. I can be. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> good deal. And Doug Wilcox, it's good to see you here. Doug Wilcox Thank is, you. A, is from Sebastopol and has been playing music for how long? Oh, well, uh, more years than I can count. It's, it, it's but I want to, to re remind Chris, he's a heartbeat away from the presidency, so <laughs> it's not like that. <laughs> as, as it always happens, yes. that's right. <laughs> well, welcome to all of you, and uh, let's, let's play a tune. All right. All right. everybody who's called. We're going to go back to our fiddlers now. D Gus and Don are going to play the Texas Crapshooters Rag and this is in honor, this is a Hugh Farr tune actually in memory of Les Kent. Take it away fellas.
Thank you for those calls. We're going back to our live fiddlers now, and they're going to give you a little taste of Liberty, June Apple, and Rock the Cradle, Rock, rock the Cradle, Joe. <laughs> That's how you do it. Just uh, pick up the phone and make that contribution at whatever level makes you happy and you can sustain it. That would be terrific, too. It's really easy and uh, takes very little time, so thanks for doing it. We want to uh, We want to wait. thank all of everybody that's made uh, this show possible. Absolutely. First of all, you guys at all the California State Old Time Fillers Association, yes, thanks so much. Thank you very much. Uh, you're our our great. phoners over there on the, the other side of the studio. The phone answering team here they at are. KRCB, the volunteers who are answering your phone calls, our staff, our volunteers, the camera people, the people in the control room, all making it happen, and that's what you do right now, your part is to pick up the phone. You don't have to be here in the station. Although we love you if you volunteer, that's fine Absolutely. too. <laughs> but it keeps us going when you pick up the phone and make your call of support. The number is there on your screen. So we're about wrapping it up here, but we're going to go out with some great music, right, Steve? Yes, we are. We're going to hear Cold Frosty Morning and Kitchen Girl from our wonderful fiddlers. Take it away, folks. Yeah.